So welcome back to Bioinformatics with BB channel. My name is Baba Jan Balganapalli. I'm an associate professor in Bioinformatics. Today's topic, we are going to see protein-protein tracking interaction using different kinds of uh, softwares or different kinds of web tools. So here, this is also a beginner tutorial. We are going to have a one more session on protein-protein uh, tracking where I'm going to tell you the advanced feature, how to perform the protein-protein docking. So before start of the topic, any topic, we are going to see some basic introduction to it. Then we are going to have a, a demo session on online and offline softwares of uh, protein protein docking. As I told you previous videos also, if we have uh, a, any uh, queries, any questions, you can post your comments or questions here in our bioinformatics group page where our expert can answer your questions, your questions very easily. And also uh, you, you can you can follow us on uh, uh, Instagram page also where we are providing the free links for the various kinds of uh, bioinformatics software where you can analyze or annotate your uh, biological data by using all these uh, free tools. So let us start the introduction uh, to the protein protein docking. So as you know the proteins are the very large complex biomolecules that play a very important role in maintaining of the life. So as workhorses of the cell the proteins composed of a structure and motor element in the cell and they serve as a catalyst for the every biochemical reaction that occurs in the living things. So protein-protein interaction plays essential role in various aspects of uh, cellular process such as uh, metabolic control, signal transduction, gene regulation and cell-to-cell -cell communications. So if you see a recent advancement in uh, proteomics technology, various uh, high throughput technologies have been developed. Initially, they work with this uh, yeast uh, two hybrid assay, and then after they work with the mass spectroscopy, and recently they have been working on uh, X-ray crystallography to understand the atomic details, to understand the molecular details in a protein-protein interaction. Even though their technology has been vastly developed, uh, some of the biologically important interaction occurs in the transition complex, and hence experimental structural determination is quite hard or difficult even the structural component of uh, even the protein structural component is known still it's uh, challenging for the crystallography technology or even the mass spectro and other 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 assays to identify this protein protein interaction so therefore this computational docking methods uh, play essential role in understanding of uh, this protein protein interaction okay so here um, so when we see the when we see the software or when we see the any any docking tool uh, at the aim of this uh, made uh, docking purpose is uh, they will try to map they will try to target an accuracy close to provided by the x-ray crystallography okay so there is a recently critical assessment predicting interaction scientific meeting okay so we call as a capri so called as a critical assessment of predicted interaction a scientific meeting every six months they will organize uh, to evaluate or to check the accuracy of uh, various kinds of protein protein uh, docking softwares okay if it is approved if it is approved by this uh, uh, capri meeting then we consider that one as a best tool for the protein protein docking so as we uh, as we as i told you we have here we have uh, uh, various tools are there uh, like a, uh, it is approved by this uh, critical assessment predicting interaction. So out of them is uh, the Clustro, PatchDoc, SimDoc, and Piper, RosetteDoc, FoxDoc, HeadDoc, HDDoc. So various classes of uh, uh, softwares are there, which is uh, which is validated by this uh, critical assessment predicting interaction, and not yet validated. So there are some other few tutorials have very important tools are there like a ZDoc. So most of the people are using ZDoc and Hex, Hex server is there. Even the offline versions are there. Okay. So here, uh, if you want to look on to each and every tools, you can refer to this uh, article where you can find this information about uh, how they have been validated all these tools and uh, software for the protein protein docking interactions. Okay. So here <laughs> we are going to cover two validated tools and one non-validated tool. So we are going to cover three different tools for the protein-protein docking. So we are going to work on the Clustro, 
so, so out of the why I selected specifically Class Pro and one more the patch talk is recently it got so many citations that's why I prefer to use this uh, Class Pro and patch talk compared to other tools. Okay, so on non validated tools, we are going to work with the hex, hex docking software, not a server. So server is offline now, it's not working, uh, uh, it's not all working now. So we are going to use the hex docking software where you can install the software in your system. You can run the protein protein docking very, very easily. Okay, let's start with the first tool. So we are going to work on the uh, first tool called as a uh, class pro. Class pro perform the three computational steps. Okay, one is a rigid body docking by sampling the billions of confirmation root mean square deviation based on the clustering of uh, thousand lowest energy struck to find the largest clustering uh, that will be represent most likely models of the complex and the third one refinement of selected structure using the energy minimization so you have to remember one specific point in uh, class pro it is not going to give any energy scores for you even the class pro and also patch talk according to the class pro page they said uh, the best docking can be confirmed by the based upon the clustering algorithm they can differentiate it what which one is the best uh, model best interaction among the uh, different confirmations okay so when we see the results part the clustering algorithm uses a rank or discrimination of protein protein complex structure and the clusters uh, receptor ligand filter the structure according to the root mean score deviation of the ligand atom that is within the 10 angstrom of any atom of a fixed receptor so generally they use the they use a simple greedy algorithm to find out the structure with the largest number of neighbors within the clustering radius so simply the structure with highest number of neighbors within the selected uh, cluster radius is considered as a center of first rank clusters so there is no scores even though they provided the scores recently they added some scores here so again they are saying the same thing that so uh, don't trust the uh, class pro scores always you have to believe the always you have to check the uh, the first model which is showing the best cluster confirmation okay based on the cluster we have to determine which one is having the highest kinds of uh, interactions so next one is a patch doc we are going to work on the patch doc so this PADOC, PADOC uh, algorithm is inspired by the object recognition and uh, image segmentation techniques. Docking can be compared to the assembled, assembling as a jigsaw puzzle. So when the solving the puzzle, we try to match the two pieces by picking one piece of one piece and searching for the complementary one. Okay, this is generally we will do when we are working with the uh, puzzle. So they concentrated on the pattern that they're unique for the puzzle element and look for the matching pattern in the rest of the pieces. So patch doc employs a similar kinds of technique and they look for the matching pattern in the rest of the pieces. So patch doc uh, employs a similar kind of techniques. So given the two molecules, so when the two molecules are comes together, uh, their surface divided into different patches. Okay, so according to the surface shape, these patches correspond to the pattern that visually distinguish between the puzzle pieces. Once the patch is identified, they can be superposed using the shape matching algorithm. Then they will find the best confirmation of in between the protein protein uh, interactions. The hex is used the fast Fourier transformation algorithms. Okay, so let's uh, start. Let's start with the first one uh, that is uh, uh, that is class pro. So here, let's go to class pro. Okay. So the class pro is, I think you have to register for this class pro. You need to have a ID password. You just need to get, uh, you need to uh, request uh, a ID password. If you, you are, if your academic email ID is there, then you, it's easy for you to get uh, the accession for this one. Okay. So once you log in this one, so here we have a two options are available for you whether you can uh, upload directly from rcsb if crystallized uh, protein structure uh, you have an option here where you can provide your uh, uh, id uh, 
okay so pdb id here along with the chain number what is the chain specifically you want to dock you can do it otherwise if you want to upload your own protein we have an option here okay so here for example i want to choose a receptor card as a so here i'm going to use a receptor card as a low density lipoprotein receptor okay so and also i'm going to select this uh, uh, ligand molecule pcsk9 okay so i want to check the interaction in between the two molecules one is a pcsk9 and ldl receptor so these two proteins play a very important role in familial hypercholesteremia so i just want to see the interaction between the ldl molecular interaction between the ldl and pcsk9 so if you go to the advanced option so there is various options are provided by this uh, cluster so if you know any amino acid if you want to dock specific amino acid in a in the receptor and ligand molecule you can provide that information i mean if you don't want to have interaction between these two particular amino acid you can add this information here okay so this is highly advanced one you can use this information for uh, uh, if you already have a known active sites okay so and also there is option is available you can use the structure modification we can do some modification uh, to the terminal residues so by addition or removing of uh, terminal residues you can do this uh, for the receptor or ligand molecule if you want to do the multimers for example if you want to do more than two uh, two dock two proteins more than two protein you can submit the number here if you submit the number it will display one more column for you where you can upload multiple structures so even we have the antibody mode where you can provide the antibody to here uh, to dock with your uh, specific uh, antigen okay so and also uh, we have uh, some more option like uh, restrain option restrain options also is available where i'm going to discuss all those things in uh, coming advanced lecture so as uh, as a time being so i'm not going to cover all those things so next time when we are working on this advanced uh, protein protein docking interaction studies i am going to cover that topic so here i provided here i provided receptor and ligand molecules okay so receptor and ligand molecules so just click on the run okay so click on the dock it will take some time for you i mean it may be uh, it will appear in a queue so if you click on the queue it will display where exactly your job is there so initially it will take some time for you depending upon the, your protein size and the uh, number of queues it might take uh, nearly 10 to 12 hours uh, to complete uh, the job once the results is done you can see your results in this section if you click on the results it will display the information for you the best way to model uh, the best way to rank the model is based upon the cluster rank so automatically the cluster pro will provide the top ranked models for you so it means the zero one is the first uh, first rank it means it is having a very good interaction in between the receptor and ligand molecule and following the second second molecule as uh, uh, this one so they they clearly mentioned in the their help help page you can see here so we only provide the scores coming for the piper for our model because large number of people are asked them uh, for, that's why we, they give that uh, score the weighted score for them weighted score for the interaction so basically uh, what they majorly preferred is uh, instead of using the uh, piper score they always prefer to use is a cluster size based upon the rank of the protein protein interaction so automatically the cluster pro program automatically will determine you so which one is the best cluster rank for you based upon this number okay the zero one is the best rank followed by the next numbers so there are a few other options that are available here for you if you want to have a uh, specifically an electro electrostatic favored interaction or if you want to have a hydrophobic uh, favored interaction or if you want to have a van der waal and uh, electrostatic potential interaction so there are different categories are there so my suggestion always go with the balanced one balanced one mean it, ha it will maintain everything in a in a in a balanced way okay you can download all the structure if you want you can uh, download all the information here okay so once you do this one you will get uh, and also as i told you here it's not only provides you a cluster pdb also for you and also it will going to give a a scores also for you okay so as i told you don't depends on this uh, uh, weighted scores the ranks 
So the weighted score calculated based upon this uh, parameter like electrostatic uh, energies and also uh, repulsion energy, attraction energy. So based on this parameter, they calculate and they divide the weighted score for you. Okay. So next one is we are going to work with the one more topic that is a patch talk. Okay, so patch doc server. So here, uh, luckily, you need not register for this one. So here also the same thing. If you already know that's the, uh, if your crystal structure is your protein, your protein is already crystallized, they can they can use this option like this, uh, the ID and chain. So ID and chain. Okay, or you can upload directly as I mentioned to you previously in a patch doc. Sorry, in a plus pro you can submit the same way okay initially you have to submit a receptor molecule and the second one we have to work with the ligand molecule okay so here you just need to provide your email id and keep everything as a default click on submit so this also takes some time for you so might uh, it might take uh, uh, at least five to six hours this patch talk is um, majorly inspired by the object recognition method okay so let us see the results of this one now you can see here uh, i received that email so it almost took uh, uh, three to four hours for me to get the results so as i told you it's uh, based upon the size of your protein if your size if your protein size are very big then it will take some time for you so here this is a table we are going to receive okay this is a table where it's providing the scores for you core is geometric shape complementary scope uh, if the score is very high it means the confirmation at the docking the docking in between two proteins are very good okay based on the highest score of a geometric shape complementary score you have to consider the best model so you can download this model the first model or you can download the, all the models whatever you want so here i'm going to download the same model here i'm going to paste this one solution so let us, let us work with the one more tool called as a hex docking hex docking hex docking tool okay so here hex docking server is currently offline it's not working at all so there are two options or you can download the hex here uh, the CUDA version the CUDA version is also available for us where you just need to provide your email id and uh, institutional uh, address where it's going to give a, a results for you okay so recently this CUDA version is also not working the tool is not working and you can download uh, this wind hex even we have this linux versions are also available if you want you can download this world of versions once once you download it's very easy to install how we can work with the hex means so click on this hex so file receptor okay go to your location so user here Receptor. okay so receptor i'm going to open with the receptor first so this is the ldl receptor and here similarly i'm going to use the ligand molecule so pcs can and ligand molecule okay so now click on the control go for docking so i'm not going to change anything here so next time uh, when we are working with the advanced uh, advanced uh, docking method i will show you some advanced features in uh, hex docking so I'm going, not going to change anything here. I'm just, keep, just going to keep everything as default. Click on activate. So it will say, take some time for us to finish the docking. And, and also, as I told you, it depends upon your system configuration. So this is the hex docking results. So where it measure it will show you the E total value, E energy total value. So it is in kilojoules, kilojoules per mole. So the E total value energy total is uh, minus 597.83 when the LDL has been tracked with the PCSK9. So in the units for this for this energy total is kilojoules per mole. If you are more convenient in a kilocalories, you can use a unit converter in Google where it will convert into kilocalories. So once you've done this one, so it's time to save the complex. Here go to save. Okay, so both. Now here type hex dot pdb okay click on ok so it has saved this one as a hex dot pdb file so now we have a three different confirmations are there uh, this model has been we generated from plus pro and this one we generated from uh, uh, 
uh, the patch talk and the last one we generated from the hex so individually we can check how exactly the interactions are there so first i'm going to check with the class pro so here okay so here we can see the results part here uh, mostly the c terminal c terminal residues the c terminal residues are interacting with the, the pcsk9 okay so if you see the results part here i'm not going to discuss about the what type of interactions are there in the, between these two proteins if you want to check the interaction in this two protein you can check uh, you can go back and check my previous uh, pi mold uh, pi mold session where i provided uh, how we can check the interaction in between the two proteins so by looking at the manually i can uh, i can say here uh, especially uh, the pcsk9 this is a pcsk9 where it is interacting with the ldlr protein so especially this ldlr protein c terminal region is interacting with this uh, pcsk9 so let us see the results of same thing here uh, especially for this uh, patch dock how exactly the docking results are looks like so here also we're going to try it as a by chain okay so by chain here so but you can see the results is completely different when we compare when you see with the uh, the class pro so the end terminal region is interacting with the end terminal region is interacting with this uh, ldlr receptor ldlr receptor protein okay so let us see the hex results how the hex results are looks like here by chain okay so here also i think uh, it is showing the similar way similar pattern as uh, uh, class pro where it is also providing the same kind of uh, docking information for us where especially the end terminal region is interacting with the pcs scanner so how we can validate this one which one is uh, true for us so you cannot validate that point if you don't have any uh, experimental evidence you have to depend on this software but if you have any evidence like for example in my case option so if already available you can go and check in a uh, at the tool called as a pdb sum tool okay so here the pdb sum tool is available where i will show you here this is my pdb id okay so the my pcsk9 and ldlr2 receptor is already crystal they are already crystallized i just want to see the interaction ldlr and pcsk9 so here you have to type here you have to type this one okay so in this case in this case a and b are belongs to pcsk9 and c is the ldlr so i just want to see the interaction between the pcsk9 and ldlr receptor so the b chain b is belongs to the pcsk9 and the chain c is belongs to ldlr receptor so you can see here up clearly the amino acid number it is somewhere starting under 295 it's not starting at, uh, uh, at the end of the c terminal end it means it is starting at the uh, especially at the end terminal end. Uh, among the three components we have used hex and plus pro it's not giving the good results for us so compared with the patch talk so i feel uh, with my protein the patch talk giving the best result uh, better results compared to other tools so i'm not criticizing the other tools so whatever the results i got when i compared with this uh, with my proteins with uh, my l2 proteins so i feel that is the uh, best uh, better results of what i have uh, received okay so it might be different for uh, it might be different for the protein to protein as i told you if you have an experimental evidence you can go back and check all these results if you don't have you have to depend on this uh, software So next video, I'm going to prepare uh, one more session on this protein-protein docking. So where I'm going to discuss uh, very brief on uh, the results part, and also we're going to add the same kind of tools, the class Pro and uh, uh, patch dock and uh, hex docking analysis. We're going to tell you the advanced features, how to use advanced feature to get the highly accurate uh, uh, docking. Okay. So anyway, thanks for watching, and if you like this content. Uh, please like share and subscribe to our channel thank you